Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for the question. Once again, I'd like to uh, thank the organisers for the kind invitation to attend this afternoon. Uh, in terms of IMI, the Innovative Medicine in, uh, Initiative, um, this is an important initiative uh, for a number of reasons. It is designed specifically to generate a, a, a greater degree of collaboration between the private sector, uh, obviously government in the form of the European Commission in this particular situation, and also academia. So there's really a tripartite collaboration, number one. Number two, it's important to recognize that this is a... Um, collaboration where the European Union puts money in but the industry matches that uh, with its own efforts as Thomas just described. And thirdly, it's important to recognize this is for pre-competitive research. So the goal of this initiative is to identify those areas where all researchers, all um, programs, whether they be government driven or private sector driven, could benefit from an expanse of knowledge. So, for example, focus on how, how to do better, quicker toxicology tests so that we could eliminate dangerous drugs much more rapidly than we do today. How we might be able to, for example, avoid liver toxicity, which is one of the most common reasons for drug failure. Could we get better at predicting molecular impact on liver toxicity? Those might be a couple of examples. So it's an exciting area, and it's been an area where I think a lot has been learned in the last couple of years since the program really began. First of all, uh, we've recognized that there are, is a very great demand and appetite for areas for research. Thomas mentioned some of those specifically. Secondly, it takes quite a long time to start these programs up. It's very easy to make a press announcement. It's much more difficult to actually create the collaborations and get the experiments underway. And where we stand today is we're probably about halfway through IMI in terms of the potential number of programs which are underway. And what we're beginning to see are the real results starting to surface. And I think the short answer to your question, Thomas, are patients going to benefit from this? The answer is absolutely yes. I've got no doubt at all that we are seeing progress in a range of areas which will be very positive for patients. Will that lead to Europe again becoming the center of drug development in the way that it was during the post-war years, I think depends, because it's a much more complex question than simply the IMI. It's much more to do with a whole variety of the way in which uh, Europe continues to focus or chooses not to focus on innovation and the market environment that Europe creates or doesn't create. So I think that question is less clear. Maybe we'll talk more about that. Is the IMI going to work? Yes. Is it inspiring researchers in academia and in companies? Yes. Will it benefit patients? Yes. What's next? And I think most excitingly is that it's also stimulated the antimicrobial resistance initiative, which the Commission announced uh, recently. And I think really there focuses on how IMI has taught us how to work together I think through the antimicrobial resistance program, we really focus on something which I think almost every citizen is aware of as an issue. It's an issue which has proven very difficult for individuals to solve. It's going to require partnership. IMI has laid, laid the way, and this second program, I think, is going to really make progress there. It, it's not a surprise for me that you, most of my answers uh, answered with a clear yes, but we will uh, come in the second round with clear projects, and then you can give us an idea what is, what is state of art. But, but the most exciting for me as science journalist and fascinating is uh, to be uh, in close contact with uh, scientists and researchers who really deliver results from research and development. And tonight I'm very glad to have Mark Koska with us. With us. Uh, I want to uh, call him inventor and lifesaver. And um, bringing products to the market, and this will be a topic we will touch later on, and the benefit of human health globally is uh, what is uh, our goal to tackle uh, the problems we, touch, uh, we raised in the beginning. More than 500 words, uh, seven minutes uh, movie, to introduce Mark Koska and his exceptional initiative and, and research project. Please, Mark. Join the panel. Thank you, Thomas. 